Because you've done lots of uh, work with BAFTA in the past, I just wonder how you first came to be involved with them. They do this great kind of online content leading up to the awards themselves. They got me involved in that way and then also doing the, um, the side of stage as all the winners come off, which is utterly terrifying but, but exhilarating as well. You get them in this real unique state of mind where they're, they're normally still in a little bit of awe and surprised and excited about the fact they've, they've just picked up a BAFTA. So when you have done the side of stage interviews, have you ever, ever had any criers? Um, I've not had anyone crying, but you get, you get people who are speechless. I remember Carrie Mulligan, she just didn't know what to say. Um, and and uh, it was very sweet because Colin Firth was there as well, so he kind of, you know, it's almost like having a protective kind of big brother arm around her, just kind of trying to make her feel a bit more relaxed. But no criers, but never say never, right. I guess, yeah. And as for the, the BAFTAs, are there any glaring omissions in your eyes, anything that you wish had been nominated? Oh, well, in terms of getting more recognition, I wish Sight Series had gotten a bit more recognition. Dear Mum, Yorkshire is lovely, not like you said at all. They can smile. I think it's a great film. I think it really touches and highlights a certain British sense of humour. He's not a person, Tina, he's a Daily Mail reader. I think Ben's just a, a real talent who, again, Excited to see, you know, where he goes next. Being able to go on radio and talk about that and, and really promote those things that aren't getting those attention because they're not big blockbusters and they don't have huge names attached to them. For me, that's a really important part of my job. Because, of course, there's only one British film in the best film category, which is Les Mis. And do you think that's an issue? Or do you think that it's only fair that you just, you know, re rewards the best films, no matter where they're from? It's hard, isn't it? It's like, how do you class a British film? You're never going to have every element of that film British. But you see the success and the attention that British film gets at the other film awards, you know, Berlin or Venice or Toronto and stuff. There's a real kind of attraction to, to seeing what's coming out of Britain. I think as well as that British film is stepping outside what people expect from it, you know, because we're known for doing kind of quite gritty, depressing uh, indie films as well. And I think in terms of things like, you know, where Tom Hooper's taken things on the flip side of that, I mean, something like The Imposter has done so well, uh, you know, around those festivals. The thought of what somebody could have done to him, it gives you nightmares. You know, you look at someone like Steve McQueen, who, how his career's kind of grown through just those few films, you know, from Hunger to, to this next one, which I, I cannot wait to see. Yeah, um, it's got an amazing cast, that one. Incredible, it's incredible. My, it's like five of my favourite actors in the world are all in it. It's, 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 yeah. it's yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, it's insane. I mean, I'd love to sit down for an hour with him and just kind of try and delve into that mind and, you know, see what's in there.